Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. In the last episode, we went back down to the beach to try to catch some more of those special summertime fish. And while we did manage to get the elusive tuna, we still haven't managed to find that puffer fish. So I think what we're going to do, since it's so close to Friday and Sunday anyway, which would be when the traveling caravan comes into town, we'll wait for her and see if she happens to have those in her stock. If by any chance she has a little puffer fish from one of the many towns she's traveled to. Today though is um, the luau, so we're not going to be doing much fishing anyway because I'm sure the people down there would not be too impressed if we pulled out our fishing rod in the middle of the festival, especially while we're supposed to be talking to the governor. We were planning to take one of our uh, very nice quality hot peppers to the potluck, but you guys mentioned that he actually really, really hates hot peppers. So instead, what we might want to do is take one of these uh, gold star cheeses there and try that out. I'm not sure why Jess is waking up with gold star cheese in her pockets. We must have gone to sleep with that, but hopefully the governor will enjoy it a little bit more than the uh, spicy hot pepper. And hopefully we can get some more gold star cheese today too. We do have um, one of the cheese presses that we received from the Junimos actually, so we'll have to place that down as well, even though we don't exactly have a use for it since we only have three cows. But um, I think pretty soon we could think about upgrading the barn. We certainly have enough gold, so I think it's just down to collect resources and if that's the case I mean we were planning on going out uh, mining today after the luau we'll see if we can pick up any uh, stone down the mines and then we'll have to chop tons and tons of trees and hello little chickens oh my goodness why are you upset Quill is looking a little thin. Oh no, it must be because she didn't have any food. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Did I forget to feed you yesterday? We are definitely going to have to make sure that all of our animals are fed before we go to the luau. I saw that it started, but you guys need um, all of your hay. So we'll put that right there and pat all of the rest of the chickens on the head as well. Oh my goodness, even little Fluff is looking grumpy. Oh no, you guys, Pip is looking grumpy too. Well, we only had one egg today, but I can understand why. We'll make sure that we pat you on the head as well. Oh, they're all so, so mad at me. Okay, you guys can munch on your grass out here and enjoy the nice summer day while we're out at the luau. We just have um, some hay down here, some wheat actually to harvest, and then some of our pickles too, but we'll do that as soon as we get back. The melons unfortunately need just a little bit more time, and we are waiting for um, the good quality melons to give to the Junimos as well. I think last time, last Last year during the luau, we um, threw one of the melons into the potluck, right? I'm almost positive that that's what we chose. And I'm pretty sure that the mayor was, um, or not the mayor, the um, governor was very, very happy with that. The mayor was happy just because the governor was happy. So I hope that this is going to be um, just the same. Let's scoot on down to the beach before we're too late though. It looks like Elliot is actually leaving. Maybe he needs to um, go get some sort of ingredients to bring for himself because yeah, he's right here next to Leah chatting it away with her as all always. So Lewis, it's the luau. Look sharp, the governor's here for his annual visit. If you brought something for the potluck, make sure and add it to the soup cauldron. Yeah, we certainly will. We have some nice, good quality cheese to add in, so hopefully the governor will be impressed. What a lovely occasion. It's always a joy to visit Stardew Valley. I must speak to the missus about purchasing a vacation home here. Well, hopefully you will because I would enjoy seeing you around the town. And as always, everyone is dancing away over here. This is tiring, honey. Are you ready to visit the buffet soon? <laughs> oh, Demetrius is so done. Ow, you stepped on my foot, dear. Well, Robin sounds like she might be a little bit done too. And then Vincent and Jazz are dancing over here as well. I'm bored. Oh, Jazz doesn't look like she's too bored. Vincent isn't a good dancer. Oh, maybe you should talk to Emma. I'm sure she would like to dance with you. Look at her up here. She's unresponsive. She's having so much fun that she doesn't even want to talk to us. That music, it's too loud. Can't I have a little peace and quiet to enjoy the ocean? Oh, maybe you could go a little bit further down the beach, like not right next to the dance floor. Poor George. Ah, the smell of the ocean takes me back many years, long before you were born. Yeah, I remember her saying that last time too. It made me wonder if um, she lived by the sea when she was very, very young. Maybe she didn't always live in Stardew Valley. I would dance, but I don't want to get sweaty. And then Alex is over here too. Perfect weather for a beach party, huh? You know, I think his birthday is coming up really, really soon, just within um, the next couple of days, but we always know what to get him because he seems to like the eggs from our farm and whatnot, all of the fresh eggs, as long as our chickens are going to give us some. One year, Sam put a pound of anchovies in the potluck soup. 
Oh dear. Ever wondered why Sam leads the town community service hours? Yeah, Lewis must have been very, very upset about that. And Abigail, you're very far away from all of the action. It's tiring to socialize with everyone. I'd rather watch the sea. Oh, you should talk to George then. He could maybe come down here too on the beach and um, enjoy the nice sea breeze. Do we have anyone down here? Oh my gosh, the wizard is way down here and Willie so, so far away, way down here by his shop. Hey there, Jess, taking a breather? To tell you the truth, I'd rather be fishing right now. Well, you, to tell you the truth, Willie, we kind of need to fish right now. We could use them a little bit of fishing time too because we still need to find that very, very elusive puffer fish. But hopefully the traveling merchant will pull through for us. That would be very nice. The mer people are curious about your festivities. Oh, really? They become upset when you litter into the ocean. Yeah, I can understand that. We did find like plenty of newspaper out here. Like Lewis was throwing his newspaper into the ocean. So they were probably very, very upset. I wonder if we're ever going to see one come up to the beach at some point. That would be very neat too. And hello, Gus, did you prepare all of this food? These blasted sandflies keep landing on the food. Oh no, maybe Shane can help you out. Wow, you don't get hot pepper chutney like this in the big city. Oh, but we have plenty of hot peppers for you, especially now that we didn't uh, bring our hot pepper to the potluck. We have Clint over here eating away. I'm full, but what else is there to do besides eat? And then um, Kent is here too. This is actually his first potluck, or rather his first uh, luau with us in the town. Hey, good to see you. You too, Kent. You're enjoying the day with Jody, it looks like. I hope the soup is good this year. Me too. I have some lovely cheese to a place in there. And it looks like um, Linus might actually be cooking for some of the residents too. A slow, continuous rotation is key to achieving the perfect roast. I'm sure you have a lot of experience with that. I wonder if he has a little bit to add to the potluck too. Maybe some ingredients that he's uh, foraged up in the forest? Whatever Linus is roasting smells awfully good. <laughs> oh, Maru wants a little bit of a taste. Good thing I came with sunscreen. We do this festival every year to give the governor a taste of everything the valley has to offer. Mayor Lewis hopes it will get the governor on our good side. That's why he's so neurotic about the way the soup tastes. Yeah, that makes sense. We did pretty well last year though. Governor, who cares? Oh, Sam, why should I care about some random old guy? This is very important, Sam. We have to get on his good side, just like Penny said. How's the farming coming along? It must be a busy season for you. I woke up late, stepped out the door, and found myself in the middle of all of this hubbub. That must be very disorienting. I forgot that today was the luau. Oh, poor Elliot. We need to talk to him more, too. It's been a very long time since we've uh, given him a gift. I'll be back here by the trees. The air is a lot cooler. Yeah, I don't blame you, especially if you're wearing capes and whatnot. It must be very, very hot out in the sun. I think we just have a couple more people to talk to, though. We have a Caroline right here. I put fresh vegetables from my garden into the communal soup pot. Excellent, Caroline. I think she actually um, gave us a turnip recently, right? Or a parsnip? Yeah, I was thinking about giving her maybe one of our blueberries once they're done growing. Hmm, maybe if I get on the governor's good side, he'll give my business a tax break. I wonder if he likes aged whiskey. Now, if only the mayor would stop schmoozing with him all afternoon, always thinking about his business. Every single festival, it seems. We have Pam over here too? Huh, free buffet, one of the perks of living here. <laughs> Enjoy it, kid. And then I think it's just down to Marnie who is um, taking care of this big communal pot. If you brought something for the soup, climb the stairs on the other side and throw it in. Excellent. So let's um, get our cheese out and see if uh, the governor likes it. We'll throw our gold star cheese in. You added the cheese to the soup. So it's going to be a very, very cheesy potluck stew. I'm not sure what else uh, is in there either. It would be nice if we had some sort of idea of what everybody added, but I'm sure it will be lovely. So Lewis, I added my cheese to um, the potluck. Should we move forward with the luau? The governor seems a little hungry. Yeah, let's start the luau. We don't want him to uh, stand there waiting for too long. He'll be a very, very hungry governor if that's the case. So it looks like everybody is ready to start. Well, folks, it's time once again for the potluck ceremony. I trust that you all put high quality ingredients in the pot this year. We don't want the governor to regret his visit to the valley. Yeah, I know that I placed a very high quality ingredient in, so hopefully everyone else did as well. Well, governor... Would you do the honor of tasting the soup? Of course, I've been looking forward to this all year. Let's see if he likes it then. Our gold quality cheese from our very, very happy cows. Oh dear, that doesn't look like a very happy face. Oh, maybe it is. He was just a little bit surprised. I hope so anyway. 
Oh my, that's the best soup I've ever tasted. Excellent. Oh, look at him go. Don't eat it all, Governor. We would like a little taste too. <laughs> what do you think, Louis? You're right, it's delicious. Oh, excellent. He likes it too. Wonderful job, everyone. Now who else wants a taste? <laughs> everyone is flocking right to the soup. The governor is going to eat the thing dry. The governor wasn't kidding. The soup was out of this world. Time to head home. <laughs> very, very nice. Oh my goodness, we have so much to collect here too. We have our battery packs. We have um, our mayonnaise down here. We have more cheese as well. And then we have all of our pickles to collect as well. Pickled green beans today. Pickled green beans, but at least um, that's extra gold for us too. That'll sell for a little bit more than if we just sold the um, regular green beans. So that's why I like to place those inside our uh, preserves jars. We still have some uh, silver star strawberries. We have some gold star green beans too. I wonder if we should um, just sell those off since we don't seem to get any higher quality pickles, especially because we're going to have so many blueberries pretty soon too. So for now, we'll just place uh, some of these strawberries in here just so we have something cooking away in those preserve jars. We don't want them empty all night. And now the moment of truth after we grab up uh, some of these hot peppers, we need to see if we finally, finally have enough of this uh, wheat to hopefully give to the Junimos. Let's see, we'll cut this down with our scythe. Um, I think we only needed like three more pieces, right? It was a very, very small amount. And we have six pieces of regular quality wheat. Oh yes, I think that's finally enough wheat to bring to the Junimos. Yes, it actually is. Okay, so 10 pieces of wheat should be just enough. We'll sell off the rest and then um, we'll make sure that we bring that along with us once we go to the community center. And I think there was um, one more thing for us to harvest down here. Oh, some radishes. Excellent. I think we um, received that from some of our wild seeds, our mixed seeds, though I don't believe we have any more inside our chest. No, it doesn't look like it. So um, I guess we're going to have to also take a quick stop down at Pierre's at some point because we definitely want to make sure we have all sorts of things growing in our fields. But that should be everything taken care of now, aside from uh, watering these lovely plants, of course, and making sure that our barn doors are closed. So let's close these very, very quickly because it is getting super late and we don't need Jess passing out right outside her house again. That would be absolutely terrible. A very, very bad way to uh, start the day at least. We'll have to see if um, we have a little bit of extra luck tomorrow too. Since we are going mining and it seems like um, if we have the lucky days when we go mining, we end up getting more geodes and whatnot. So that would be excellent. And look at all of this gold. Oh my goodness, almost 6,000 gold. Yeah, the battery packs are definitely a, a worthwhile thing for us to make. I think there was something we could craft with them. But honestly, if we're going to get that much gold if we sell them off, we might want to uh, do that instead. Yeah, we are getting so super, super close to the point where we could um, hopefully upgrade our barn. So let's go resource gathering today. Let's see um, what the fortune teller has to say. The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Okay, so not um, anything special, unfortunately. But yeah, Alex's birthday is tomorrow. So we'll have to make sure that we keep um, one of those eggs on hand. And hopefully our um, little chickens are going to be very happy too. Hello, Leah. Hi, Jess. Beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. It's not raining, at least. I brought you a gift. It's a sculpture I've been working on just for you. Oh, thank you, Leah. That's sweet. <laughs> Look at that thing. I think um, she had that in her house, right? You received a Leah sculpture. A Leah sculpture. Excellent. It's called How I Feel About Jess. I hope you like it. Oh, that is so sweet. I didn't know that Leah liked us so much. How I feel about Jess. It's very, very twisty. That's interesting. What do you think that means? We'll have to place this down somewhere. Maybe um, right in our room next to our half-finished uh, skeleton of some sort. We can place it, uh, I guess, down here for now. Right by our bedside. There we go. Yeah, that's um, a very, very interesting little sculpture. How I feel about Jess. Very, very nice. I guess we'll have to um, go visit Leah sometime soon, too. We have some more coffee beans to collect. The melons are still not quite ready, unfortunately, but we'll place all of our coffee beans in there. Or for that matter, while we're um, out for the day, we'll make sure that some of our coffee is smelting away in here. We'll uh, brew up some more fresh coffee for Kent and Harvey and all of the people who enjoy that around the town. Now we can water up our um, extra sunflowers. We'll have to stop at Pierre's to uh, get some of the spangles, too. Oh my goodness, 
And finally, finally, our blueberries are ready. Oh my gosh, we are going to have so many blueberries, guys. No, 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 don't go eat in that chest. We need to harvest every last one of these. We have some hot peppers to harvest too. Oh, this is going to be the absolute best harvest of the entire season. We'll have to save some inside our chest, of course, because we want to change that into um, jam. That would sell for a little bit more than the regular base price of the blueberries, so we would get a ton of profit from it. But I also want to save some for gifts. We'll make sure we save some of the um, gold quality blueberries to give around the town. Oh my goodness, we're going to have like practically a hundred blueberries in our pockets. Look at all of those. We have 95 regular quality blueberries. We have 20 um, silver star ones. We have six gold star. Yeah, let's make sure that we save um, some of these at least. Some of these inside the chest. I'm not sure if we can even like make that much jam. That is going to take forever to finish. So I guess it's a really good thing that we're um, going out resource collecting today because we might need to make some more Reserves jars, but um, we'll go ahead and sell off the um, silver star blueberries, I think, just for the extra gold, and we'll save the um, gold star ones inside one of the chests to give us gifts later. And yeah, we'll sell off some of these too because we could use the gold. We have tons of hot peppers, so we don't have to worry about saving those. And then um, we'll just plop this inside our little uh, gifting chest with all of our sunflowers and whatnot too. I think um, Haley would probably really like a sunflower because she seems to enjoy the uh, summertime season, and I'm sure this would remind her of the big bright summertime sun but let's say hi to our animals too i think that's everything we have to harvest right yeah i think we harvested every last thing inside our fields we can say hi to our cows hopefully you guys are doing good today we'll see if you have any a good quality milk to give us this time oh my goodness a gold star large milk definitely a much much better than yesterday and then a regular milk from you and um, one more, hopefully you have a little bit of milk today too. There we go, some more large gold star milk, excellent. Now hopefully our chickens are doing a little bit better today. I am so upset, so very upset that I made them so grumpy. I think they're doing good though. We have the nice lovely hearts above their heads again, and we have lots and lots of eggs to collect today. So thankfully they enjoyed their nice day out in the summertime sun. Hello little guys, I am so sorry for forgetting to feed you before. So part of the reason why we were going back into the mines was um, just to collect the earth crystals. I think we actually have to go a little bit um, further up, a little bit higher in the mines to get those though because they seemed much more common in uh, those areas. So if we can find some earth crystals then we should be able to make more of these mayonnaise machines and then we can get rid of the tons and tons and tons of eggs that we have inside our chests. Oh my goodness, this would be like Alex's dream. All of these different eggs stacked up in our chests. But while we can leave some of these tools like the um, copper hoe, the axe, the milk pail, and the watering can, we certainly won't be milking any of the monsters down there. Um, I guess we could leave our iridium rod too because I don't think we're going to be doing any fishing today. Um, we will have to see if we can find some good food to bring down there. Let's see what we have inside our fridge. Um, I believe the autumn's bounty yeah, gives us a little bit of a uh, buff in defense, so I like to bring one of these in case we're getting really, really torn apart by the monsters. And then then we have um, the cranberry sauce, which gives us an extra boost in mining, so I always bring that too. We have um, our dandelions in case we need a tiny, tiny boost of energy or health, but these will give us really big boosts, so we'll use that in case of emergencies. I think that should be good though, hopefully, along with um, the five dandelions, that should be just enough to keep ourselves satisfied while we're working in the mines. We have our scythe to um, cut down anything that stands in our way, we have our pickaxe to chop away at all of those rocks, and we have our templar's blade too, to hopefully get rid of all of those enemies. I think that's it though, I think we're done. We could um, possibly bring some bombs just in case we need to um, clear out some of those extra rocks. Yeah, we'll bring the bombs with us and um, we'll want to, oh my goodness, I keep forgetting. We want to bring the wheat. There it is. We absolutely have to uh, drop that back off of the Junimos because we finally have enough wheat to do so. So I'm pretty sure that was um, Marnie's bulletin board bundle. We might as well go this way instead of uh, using the shortcut because it'll probably be a little bit faster than going all the way down from the mines. Oh, and look at this. We're having a little scene with Alex and a dog, it looks like. Oh, we've never seen that dog before. That's a good boy, Dusty. We always just see his uh, little glowing eyes from that box. You might be the only one around here who understands me. 
No one else has seen the kind of stuff you and I have. Oh, so um, this is actually Alex's dog. Oh, and there we are, just behind the bushes again, staring creepily at Alex and his dog. Jess, did you overhear me talking? Yes, I'm sorry, Alex. I heard everything. We were on our way to the community center, but we decided to take a pit stop and just spy on Alex from the bushes. That's totally fine. I don't really like to talk about it, but I guess I'll explain. Have you ever wondered why I live with my grandparents? You see, my father wasn't a good guy. He, well, he ruined everything for me and my mom. Half the time he was gone, the other half he'd drink all night and tell me I was worthless, that I'd never amount to anything. I think he resented me for being young, bitter because he'd wasted his youth doing nothing and had gotten nowhere in life. Well, that's my take on it anyway. Who knows what was going on in his mind? Oh, I didn't realize that Alex had such a hard life at home. One day he left and soon after that, mom got sick and passed away. I had no choice but to move in with my grandparents. Oh, poor Alex, and he must have had Dusty the whole time too. You seem like someone I can trust. That's why I'm telling you this, Jess. I don't want any sympathy. If there's one good thing about my past, it's that it made me strong. That's a good way to think of it. Now let me show you what Dusty will do for a barbecued steak. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is adorable. Look at him wiggling his little paws. Ha, look at him slobbering. I think he might like the steak as much as I do. <laughs> that is absolutely adorable. I'm glad we got to know a little bit more about him Alex's past though. I always assumed that his parents were gone, but I didn't realize that it worked out in that way. His mother passed away and his father sounded like he was not too uh, good of a guy. But let's make sure that we give the Junimos their wheat before I forget about this again because I am very, very scatterbrained today. Let's some um, give this to Marnie's fodder bundle Finally, Marnie, finally we finished this. Now we just have to um, get three apples to give to her in the um, fall time. We have our apple tree growing. So just like um, our orange tree, which is giving us all of those oranges every single day now, we should be able to give her apples um, as soon as the fall time rolls around. But let's scoot on up here too. We should probably take a quick stop at the um, quarry today as well because we haven't been there in so very long. That would probably be one of the best places for us to just gather resources in fact. And we have some spice berries to pick up later. I don't want to fill my pockets with those, so maybe um, Linus could pick it up instead. But if we scoot up this way, we should be able to um, take a shortcut straight to the quarry, and then we can do the same uh, going back to the mines. Yeah, there is the quarry. Oh my goodness. Wow, there are a lot of rocks here. Well, we can grab a couple of these. It seems like we have um, some ore to pick up too, some copper ore and whatnot, but I don't really see anything special down here aside from uh, the regular stones. So I think what I might do is um, come down here on my own someday when I'm just going resource collecting on um, one of the off days and I'll make sure that I gather up every last one of these rocks, including those little wiggly worms down there too, but we don't have our hoe today. So back to the mines we go, and uh, hopefully we'll have some good luck in here. So yeah, I think um, our best chance of getting the earth crystals would be a little bit higher up in the mines. I'm not sure exactly where um, that like jungle sort of area started. Yeah, this area right here. We're at the um, lake too. I wonder if I went a little bit too far. No, it looks like we're okay. Yeah, let's see if we can find any earth crystals instead of trying to get them um, further down in the mines right now. We do want to try to get all the way down to the bottom at some point, but right now I'm a little bit more concerned about finding the resources we need. We have a Dougie up here too. Oh, we haven't seen those in a really long time. Look how quickly we can get rid of them now. They used to be so hard for us to beat because we had a much weaker sword at the time. But let's scoot on down this ladder and see if um, there's anything. Oh, there we go, special down here. There is one of the earth crystals, finally. So we just have to remember to uh, come to these higher up places if we want to get those special earth crystals because they are definitely, definitely easier to find in this area. This place is uh, pretty big too. Thankfully, it is very quiet though so maybe we won't have to worry about using our uh, defense boost after all. Unless we scoot back up the elevator and try to um, get to a lower area if we have enough of those earth crystals to a spare. But let's try to get this ducky too. We actually have to um, defeat more of these enemies anyway. Oh no, wait a second, I forgot about these bugs. Thankfully we can take care of them with like one swing, otherwise they would turn into um, those flying ones instead. But yeah, the Adventurer's Guild asked us to um, slay a certain amount of all of these different enemies, and I'm pretty sure we had to come back here anyway to take care of the doggies and whatnot so this will be good for us 
This will definitely help us collect more of those rewards at the very least. Let's get rid of this uh, giant rock too because of that is a lot of stone. Plenty of stone to uh, take home with us and hopefully give to Robin tomorrow so she can get started on our brand new barn. Still haven't found the ladder for this place though. Um, maybe it's up here by the slime. I would imagine he would be just the sort of creature who would guard one of the uh, ladders. We have a box back here too with some extra stone inside. But hopefully uh, the ladder's going to pop up in one of these stones. Sometimes they're very, very tricky for us to find. Though I believe we can actually um, craft some sort of staircase inside here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, the staircase. Use this to move down a level in the mines. That sounds like it would be very, very helpful in some of those uh, nasty situations where we have a ton of enemies on the screen. And there we go. We found the staircase, but I will grab all this copper before we leave. Yeah, if we could make um, a couple of those, if we have enough of the stone, then we could try to um, scoot further down the mines to at least get more elevators in the lower portions. But I think we might want to uh, munch on some of our little dandelions because we are starting to run out of energy. We're fine with health, but we don't need just passing out in the middle of the mines either. Either. We haven't been able to find um, any more of those earth crystals though, which is a little bit uh, disappointing. Oh, wait a second. There's one right over there being guarded, of course, by the slime. So I spoke a little bit too soon and it seems like we even have uh, one of those areas way back there with all of the barrels. And I do like to uh, smash open those barrels because we can find some good stuff in there. So let's scoot on this way. We even have a ladder in the area too, so we don't have to search for that anymore. And then we'll see if there's anything for us to break a little bit further up. It's very dark up here though. Luckily there's uh, no enemies, but no barrels either. No barrels and no boxes. Oh, that's a little bit disappointing. Well, let's go down the ladder before the bug gets to us and try to slap these grubs too before they change. Oh, there's even some mushrooms down here too. Though I'm pretty sure this was the one that would actually like poison us basically. Yeah, negative 70 energy if we munched on that. It is getting super late anyway, so we probably want to think about going back up the elevator and um, using the minecart track to get home. We only managed to find um, two more earth crystals, but that means that we should have, um, I believe, five of the um, mayonnaise machines on our farm if we use all of them. And oh no, I think we're going to have another um, bug invasion. Yeah, not a bat invasion, a bug invasion today. Oh geez, get out your sword. Thankfully, they don't hit us too hard, but I think it is definitely time for us to leave. In fact, let's just go down the ladder and then we can scoot straight back up from this floor. This will be a good way for us to refill our bait too because now we have tons and tons of bug meat. So we'll have to um, make sure we make a little bit of extra bait once we get home. Let's go um, to the bus stop. I think we're going to have to jump straight into bed though because it is getting very, very late. We'll just throw a couple of uh, extra things into this bin like our um, quartz and the algae that we picked up too. We probably don't need any extra algae. We'll save the slime though, just in case we need that for something later. And I believe we do have plenty of cave carrots inside our chest too, just in case Marnie needs some for her goats, I believe. But now with a little bit more resource collecting, we should have just enough uh, wood and stone and gold, of course, to hopefully upgrade our barn again. So I'm really looking forward to that. I could definitely use some uh, little goats running around our farm too. I'm sure Marnie will be very, very impressed if we have goats to take care of. This is our first time selling off the uh, duck mayonnaise as well. Okay, so we'll see how much we get from that. All of our cheese, of course. We are going to have quite the bounty today. We'll have to make sure that we give uh, Daisy her water as well because I do believe that I forgot to do that. So right before we go to bed, right before we uh, scoot off to bed, we'll give her her water and then we'll grab that orange too. And now we desperately, desperately need to dive under the covers. So good night, little Daisy. We'll see you in the morning and uh, let's check and see exactly how much gold we're going to make today. I mean, we should have so much much gold from all of those blueberries. Oh my goodness, look at all of that. And our duck mayonnaise, that's actually um, quite high too. And the cheeses, of course. So yeah, we can definitely spend the extra gold on the new barn. We just have to get some more resources first. So in the next episode, we'll make sure we gather up enough wood and stone to do so. But for now, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys.